majority of attic scuttles are found in hallways, including the top of stairwells, and in some cases, inside closets. They are almost always large enough for a firefighter in full gear and SCBA to fit through, though in the following example, not so much. Regardless, the techniques remain the same. Uh, it's just kind of an aftermath here, but we're talking about sill wall climbing on a single plane wall. We have a wall behind the firefighter at the top of the stairs, but he's basically making hand and footholds, okay, in a cross pattern all the way up. And this is a really, really super tiny scuttle. Typically, they're going to be bigger than that. If we don't have a drop down staircase, they're usually still big enough that if you threw a ladder up there, you could climb up in. But if you don't have a scuttle ladder, a folding ladder, attic ladder, pole ladder, whatever you want to call it, available and the engine company's got to do a quick check of that void. He makes his breaches. Again, when he doesn't have something to counter brace, we'll show you this, the counter bracing in a hallway uh, in this stairwell to show what that looks like where you can spider climb the wall. You got to make sure you got a partner backing you up because as you're, as you're climbing that wall, Mike start grabbing for it and that sheetrock tears out, you're gonna fall backwards. And now look, we also got a window at the top of the stairs here. So the last thing you want him to do is fall back and fall out a window. So you got a partner on his six as he's starting to climb up, bracing his back. And obviously you would have a tank on, that goes without saying. He pop open the scuttle, which normally would be a lot bigger. He can check the void real quick, see what he's got, okay? Now when he can actually hold his body weight up with his arms, uh, he could call for the line. Uh, passed up and now I can work that hose line and this is not necessarily realistic because of the size of the scuttle but it's an option at least to check the void to see if we got extension so we're gonna have the guys now just show you what the spider climb looks like you got me? Yeah. <laughs> okay we're gonna show you what the spider climb looks like now again not typically done I've never seen it myself where the scuttle was right above the actual treads of the stairwell itself. But this is a nice spot to practice. Normally what you'd want to try to find is a narrow hallway leading to bedrooms and then the scuttle being directly above the center of the hallway. That's where that spider climb works really good. But when you're doing the stairwell, if you're practicing here, it's a little bit more dangerous because you got more elevation because of the, the angle of the staircase itself. But what he's going to do is Mike's at kind of midpoint. He's gonna find a spot. He's not gonna climb all the way to the ceiling. He's just simulating a, a spider climb. He's gonna make breaches for his handholds on each side and his footholds. Now they don't have to be staggered because you're spider climbing up. And if you've watched anybody that does uh, American Ninja Warrior, <laughs> their hands and feet are pretty much directly in line when they spider climb. We're just adding another element of safety so we got foot and handholds to actually grab on and then we counter brace off each opposing wall face. You ready, Mike? Yes, sir. Go ahead. He's working his way down. Oh, this is the best way to stay on one side and then finish on the other side. And I'm still going to have you spot him. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is, uh, you know, spot him actually from in front of him. Okay. Again, when he's making his breaches, guys, just understand that in most sheetrock or drywall, you're just making a breach that, you don't have to make a breach big enough for your foot, you just want to start the breach so when you kick in with your, with your steel toe, yeah, go ahead. So he didn't make a breach big enough, but you notice as he kicked in, he was able to finish the breach and make it wide enough for his foot. There you go. Okay, you notice he's got his hand hold, so he's climbing up, he's got a good breach, okay? There you go, and you can see how high you can get. All right, come on back down. Watch out. Definitely want to be careful when you're doing this in the staircase just because of the length of fall that you got. Nice job. 